Good day! Here are the stories of the Manila Times for Christmas Eve, Thursday, December 24, 2020. Reverting to a Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine or MECQ in high-risk regions in the country is not yet needed. Even with the possible post-Christmas surge of the coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19, projected by a team of experts. Professor Guido David, a University of the Philippines OCTA Research Fellow, in a briefing on Wednesday, said an MECQ was not necessary unless the country hits the critical limit of 4,000 cases daily. The last time Metro Manila and other regions were placed under MECQ was on August 4, when the country averaged around 4,000 cases a day. During that time, all persons aged below 21 and those aged 60 and above were required to stay at home unless they were obtaining essential goods and services or reporting to work in certain industries. President Rodrigo Duterte has ordered the seven-day ban on all flights from the United Kingdom following the discovery of a new and more potent variant of COVID-19 in that country. Palace spokesman Harry Roque Jr. said Duterte approved the suspension on Thursday. It will last from December 24 to 31. Covered by the suspension are passengers who have been in the UK within the last 14 days and those in transit, he noted. Passengers already in transit from the UK and those who are due to arrive in the Philippines before 12.01 a.m. of December 24 will be allowed entry but will have to undergo stricter quarantine and testing, he added. Interior Secretary Eduardo Año on Wednesday appealed to the public not to condemn the Philippine National Police for killings committed by a policeman in Palak last Sunday. In a statement, he said the wrongdoings of some policemen should not be the fault of the 228,000 strong police force. Earlier this week, Senior Major Sergeant Jonel Nuezca shot and killed Mother Sonia Gregorio and her son Frank in a heated argument in Paniki, Tarlac. Far from the excited and boisterous crowds that welcomed the Metro Manila Film Festival entries and their grand floats, this year's Parade of Stars has adopted to a new normal and is going online. The parade opens the Film Fest, which starts on December 25 and ends on January 7. The 10 entries this year are Isapang Bahaghari, Pac Boys Takusa, The Boy Foretold by the Stars, The Missing, Father Suarez, Mang Kepweng, Ang Lihim ng Banda ng Itim, Coming Home, Tagpuan, Magic Land, and Fangirl. Instead of a traditional cinema showing, the entries will be available online for streaming via Upstream PH by Christmas Day. Hope among majority of Filipinos in 2021 remains high despite the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic in the country, according to the latest survey released by Polster Pulse Asia on Wednesday. The poll from November 23 to December 2 among 2,400 representative adults nationwide found that 91% of Filipinos wanted to welcome the new year with hope. Only 1% said they would be facing the coming year without hope, while 8% were ambivalent or undecided on the matter. In business, the national government's budget deficit climbed to 128.3 billion pesos in November 2020 as public spending rebounded during the month, the Bureau of Treasury said on Wednesday. Data from the Treasury Bureau showed that the shortfall was more than twice last year's 60.9 billion peso budget gap resulting in a cumulative budget deficit of 1.069 trillion pesos, higher than the 409.1 billion pesos recorded for the January to November 2019 period. In sports, the Los Angeles Lakers received their NBA championship rings on Tuesday night or Wednesday morning in Manila in an empty arena that still felt filled with warmth from their families, friends, and millions of fans worldwide. And while they put a blindingly brilliant jewelry on their fingers, the Lakers promised to hold a real party for their 17th championship as soon as everyone can attend. Yen Macabenta, Ramon Tufo, and architect Felino Palafox Jr. are the front-page columnists of the Times. Macabenta discusses about countering the so-called brutalism of lockdowns caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Tufo talks about cheerful giving during the Christmas season, while architect Palafox elaborates the Palafox Group's architecture, planning, urban design, and master plan of the Pampanga Megalopolis. 
Today's editorial for The Times hits the Department of Labor and Employment over poor compensation for health workers during the pandemic. Read the full version on the paper's opinion section or listen to the voice of The Times. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to its digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and keep up with the times. With the Fort Villeseran, this is Eric John Seacor reporting. Have a safe and meaningful Christmas season.